Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy, and I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Tonight, we're going to continue our discussion uh, about the five elements and exploring the actual feeling of the five elements. And we also want to talk a little bit about yin chi and the importance of yin chi. And, um, and uh, Stan had a question about being and doing. And uh, I think that's uh, it's a, a topic we brought up uh, on a few weeks back, and, and I think it's apropos of, of this as well. So uh, perhaps we'll lead in with that, and just, just to synopsize, the idea is that um, we are wired to respond with doing, and that is... Uh, that's because it kept us safe in the jungle for many thousands of years. And uh, so consequently, it, it is a trait that causes us to, you know, whenever we are stressed in any way, there's an immediate physical response. There's a, there, the, the sympathetic nervous system fires into action and says, okay, we have an emergency here, folks. Time to activate. And so muscles tense and we activate and I'm ready to go. And, uh, and that is the, that's the way we're wired. And um, that's nature. Taiji Tran says, hey, let's try a different way. Let's pause a moment before we activate and actually feel into the moment, mobilize the chi and then do. And so, oh, this means that we have to shift into an entirely different part of the nervous system to make that happen. Instead of the sympathetic nervous system kicking up and, and taking over immediately, the parasympathetic, hmm, it gathers the energy and then says, okay, now what would you like to be have done? And it kind of methodically and, and very quietly goes about its business at, at that point. So the emphasis here is first to get into a state of being that is reclaiming in stillness and it doesn't have to be for a long time. It can be for a tenth of a second, but there's a, there's a moment there of stillness and then action. And that's in that stillness is when we activate the energy. That's where we mobilize the chi. So in every movement, if I'm going to reach out my hand, there's a moment where I feel into my body and then I reach out. If I'm going to retract my hand, I'm gonna feel into my body and then, oh, I'm going to activate that. And if you practice that so that you're doing it, not just whenever, you're in class here, but when you're practicing your Tai Chi, when you're doing your Qigong, when you are making a cup of tea, when you're driving a car, when you're, whatever you're doing, you're practicing that. Oh, I'm going to feel into the state of being first, then do. And we activate that by feeling through the sense that that we use interoception that is we look inward and sense what's going on we then are able to consciously feel the all that information that's coming through it goes to the brain and we don't immediately go to the to the, the, the thinky thinky part we actually are able to pause for a moment and then go. And paradoxically, by taking time, you actually speed up. Because if you immediately go into the, into the doing part, it shifts you into the, your, your thinking mechanism. And there's this, your brain is trying to catch up to what's going on in the, in the moment. And there's this, 
there's a uh, it jams up because it can't process through the narrow the narrow aperture of your conscious mind. But whenever you feel first and then do, you shift into that superconscious state, and you're then able to move to the gap between thoughts, and you're able to know without thinking. You're able to access the entirety of your experience, your skills, your kung fu, and you don't have to think, okay, now I'm going to reach out with my fist, I'm going to reach out, you know, just so far and blah, blah, blah. You, it just, it just happens because you have, you have shifted into this expanded state of awareness where there is an integration of body, mind, and spirit. So that's the, uh, that's the nickel version for being and doing. We could talk about that all night, but that's a, uh, uh, and we have in, in, in the, some of the uh, past videos, right? if you have, if you miss those, I encourage you to go back and check those out. But uh, moving on. So we'd like to uh, talk about, uh, first of all, the, the yin chi. So last week I, I talked a, a lot about how learning to identify qualities of energy is the doorway through which Taiji Chuan as a spiritual path leads us to, you know, what they say in the classic spiritual illumination. That is, if you learn how to understand Jin, how to understand energy, you can then move through that superconscious state and into ever expanding states of awareness. And you learn, it's not just something that is a transient, oh wow, it is something that you can access over and over and over again. And it's a foundation which supports your Kung Fu. So if you practice this, because energy is the, it's the communication between body, mind, and spirit. It's, it's the, the carrier wave that, that takes us. And the different levels of substantiality of the energy with body, very dense energy, right? And then mind is a much more insubstantial energy and spirit even more insubstantial. And then we go from there, we move into that spiritual illumination where we start tapping into connection to something much greater. So uh, understanding chi, not just as an intellectual activity, but as a, something that you feel. We played with it a bit last week. And I think I mentioned that it was, you know, I start off when I started this exploration, it was chi, where is it? And then I go, oh, oh, so that's what they're talking about. Okay, cool. Then from there, it went from more chi, less chi. So first it was just chi, yes, chi, no. Then it became chi more, chi less. And then I could, uh, I could make that distinction. Then I took it a step further. And then I said, like, oh, what other qualities? Qi yang, qi yin. And yang qi is expansive. It's radiant. It, it's fiery. It's electrical. It's crackly. It's, um, it's very highly um, refined. It's uh, up. It's the chi of the heavens, and um, it's the chi of thought. That's the yang chi. And there's a lot of confusion about chi. Uh, some people, you know, were, were saying how the uh, oh the uh, they thought that that yin was just kind of collapsed, and you know that that yang is is when you're when you're full of energy and yin means you don't have any. No, it's, it's, 
yin is a very specific type of energy and is a very important bit of energy. And the confusion with that um, gets people to get addicted to yang chi. And we, we get, I want more, I want more, I want more, you know, give me more. And, and that, that electricity, that, that vibrancy, that, that, that's, that's what we're looking for, the, the bright lights and shiny objects, that, that kind of thing, the zing. And that's really cool, and we all love that. That's the big brassy, it's the, you know, the, the, the show tune, the, the showstopper show tune. It's Yang Chi. But Yin Chi is where we fill up. Without that, we got nothing for the for the for the big explosion. So we want to have this thing. So you some people love the idea of expansion, 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 and you say contraction. They say, "Oh no, contraction bad. Contraction is, you know, that's that's where er, that's this. It's like no, no, contraction means that oh, I'm coming in. I'm consolidating, returning to form." So if you think of it in terms of particle and wave from like quantum physics, it's like, you know, the, the wave is Yang Chi. It's like, it, it's everywhere. It's, um, it has infinite potentiality and it's, it um, uh, is, just exists as a probability. Whereas Yin Chi or the, the particle part is where that has, coalesced into a form and yin is when we coalesce into a form and that's kind of swell too that means you get to have a body that means you get to to you know do body stuff and and be able to uh, sleep at night and be able to digest your food and and all kinds of cool stuff so there's you want both sides of that and from my practice, you know, about, you know, 25 years of, of doing energy healing, polarity primarily, uh, what I have observed in people is that just about every client I've ever worked with is to some degree or another yin deficient. Very seldom have I run into someone who is yang deficient. What that means is, Go, 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 and go, 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 go. And they have lost the ability to recognize the, the importance of the yin, the, the ability to, to feel into the yin, to, to nurture the yin. And so they, you know, what, what a lot of people will do is they'll, Go, 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 go until they get reach a point of exhaustion and then they collapse. They either get sick or they just fall over and, and sleep for 36 hours and then they go, 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 go again. And then, and it's a, that, that's a repetitive cycle. And they have, don't have that capacity to say, oh no, I'm just going to stop right here and ah, breathe. So we have the big, 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 big expand, expand. And then we also have, condense and feel into that condensation, feel into the chi becoming dense, not exploding outward, but mm, getting very earthy. And that's, that's where we play with the yin. And, you know, in terms of Tai Chi form, it, I, I don't think it's a, um, um, a coincidence that about two thirds of the movements and and about any type of tai chi form that I've ever seen are yin moves because about two thirds of the time you're gathering and about a third you know you're expressing the energy so there's yin 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 yang you know yin 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 yang you know that kind of thing so it's a uh, 
uh, it restores. So uh, uh, we're going to play around with that. We'll do the meditation again, and we'll kind of try to keep it as close as we can to what we started with last time, and then we'll take it up again. But before we jump into that, can you, is there anybody has any questions about what I've been talking about so far? All good? All good, nobody at all? Everything is perfectly clear. Okay, <laughs> Scott. Okay, so this is kind of a question about both of the topics you've talked about. Um, so you were saying, when you're being before doing, right, you're feeling the energy before you're doing. Are you feeling a specific type of energy or are you just feeling a kind of a whole body? Well, it's, it's actually, it, it, the energy is created as a, um, as, as a byproduct of the being. In other words, you, you establish your state of being and in that, your whole pulls in opposition, and that generates chi. Whatever, whatever flavor of chi you need in that situation, it gets gets done, happens that way. So it's uh, it's not like I'm going to now go and do something, which is make my chi. It's like no, no, I'm going to being, and in that state of being, then I begin this process of mobilizing the chi. So there's a distinct moment of stillness where I'm not doing anything, even like I say, even the last a tenth of a second. It just there's a moment there, and then and then you, then you go. So it um, does that does that make sense? Uh, it makes sense, but it doesn't answer my question because, like, when you say you know, uh, fill into your body before you do it, my body immediately I. It fills. It fills. It almost, you know, it sort of feels like I'm filling or feeling, you know, full, filling up a balloon kind of thing. I feel this energy, you know, and I feel that feel my whole body at once. Is that a type of energy, or is that that? Well, uh, that that's exactly what I'm saying. Before, uh, so whenever you go to that state of being, it happens. It, the 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 chi mobilization happens by the fact that you've done the. You, you, you've done the, the being thing. So it's, it's like, okay, now I'm going to fill up now. It's like, I'm going to go to being and the filling happens. And so, uh, and then you can enhance that by what you do next. Okay, but am I filling with regular or unleaded or diesel? <laughs> your, your, your choice. Your choice. You get, you get, that, and that's when I said before about understanding chi, understanding jin. That's it. Like it's like, oh, there are different. There's, you know, thirty-one flavors of ice cream here. You know, which one do I choose? You know, <laughs> do I choose the tutti frutti or the uh, pistachio nut? You know, it's like it's a uh, you you get you get to pick, and um, and it depends on the situation. So as you shift into this more of a, an expanded state of awareness, it becomes clearer to you which energy is entirely appropriate for the situation. If you see a, a crying child, the energy that you take then is not anger, you stupid idiot, why are you crying? You know, that's an inappropriate energy for the situation, right? It, so you can then, in that state of being, you're able to then say, oh, I think I will try a different kind of energy this time. That time that didn't work so well the last time. Lynn. So in our uh, Baskin Robbins analogy, um, <laughs> when we're filling up, we we've got the the cream and the sugar and the ice, and and that's there. That's the like most basic ingredients of all the different cheese don't forget the salt don't forget the salt <laughs> um and uh and then we can make our 31 flavors depending on our moment kind of yeah we're stretching <laughs> we're stretching the br here a little bit but that uh, <laughs> uh i think in its simplicity it's you feel first then do 
And in the feeling, you mobilize the chi. What kind of chi depends on the situation. So, ah, okay. So I pull back the bowstring and what kind, you know, where I aim it, how far, how fast, whatever, that's, that's, and that's my gong fu. That comes from my understanding of what's going on. And, and that's the fun of it. And so this is a game that it's an infinite game. There's no point where they declare you're the winner of Taiji. It's like, <laughs> you don't get that. There's, you know, it's like, oh, you're, you're, the prize you get is, oh, I get to do it again. You know, that's, that's the prize for, for having successfully completed this round is I get to do it again. And oh boy, oh boy. And this, 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 the road goes on forever and the party never ends. So it's, uh, you know, that's, uh, that is the beautiful thing. Yes, Richard. Um, it feels to me like the B part is getting to the middle of stillness in the pendulum. Yes. Um, so when we, when we B, become coherent in B, we're now ready to go either direction. Yes. Yes, uh, that, that excellently stated. Very succinct. Nice. Okay, uh, Sharon. Yeah. So is is that sensation kind of like a yo-yo? Uh, it would be. It's a stretch, but yes. Okay. I mean, that, that really, you know, takes it down to in a yo-yo. There's there's a it's a pendulum in, in a sense, right? You go, it goes to the end and then it returns. So it, uh, uh, although I'm not, I guess, I guess it is the same in pendulum because there's stored energy and, and it returns. So yes, so it's, it's kind of like that in a way, yes. Uh, someone else, uh, Valerie. Um, I'm gonna try to make this even maybe more confusing, maybe simpler. Um, when I think of chi, okay, there's yin, there's yang, and the varying degrees. And as you just said, you apply it uh, to the situation as is necessary. And then jin would be like elbow jin is completely different than jin that may be generated from an area in my back. That's a that's a that's a different thing. Jin being different than chi. Uh, yeah. Jin is chi that is expressed through the body and directed by consciousness. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> sure, I said that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so learning to, so that's where the body, mind, spirit integration comes. That the, the jin is where you're, you're attuning your body to your, your consciousness, to your super consciousness, and you're getting everybody to play nice together in a highly coherent fashion, and then cool stuff happens. And the degree that you're able to do this, you're able to follow the, the Taiji path to spiritual illumination. You should get moving if you want to do anything. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna get moving here. Okay, I just wanted to make sure everybody's uh, everybody's cool. So let's uh, let's uh, let's do some stuff. Okay. Step out with your left foot. Face 50-50. First, we're gonna establish our, our three pillars. What this does is it sets up the body-mind in a way that allows for us to plug into the big chi. We, we're an open system. So we're plugging into the chi of the earth, the yin chi of the earth, the yang chi of the heavens. And we're also unkinking the hose to a large degree and getting highly coherent. So feel the balls of your of both feet, set both knees. 
Reach with the crown of your head. Tuck in your chin and open the jade pillow gate. The base of your skull. Feel your, the top of your head connecting up with the balls of your feet. Reach with your elbows. Open the shoulder joints. Relax your lower back, your lumbar area, and allow your, your coccyx to drop. Feel the way Lou, allow that to, to sink. So you're creating a, a pull between the crown reaching upward, the way Lou reaching downward, lengthening the spine, opening the space between the spaces between the vertebrae, lengthening the dural tube, unkinking the hose there. And this allows the chi to go up the thrusting vessel into your brain. And this uh, illuminates, energizes the knee, uh, the knee wan. Point your index fingers, reach with your fingers, reach with your elbows. And just feel that what we're doing here is we're feeling into the chi. Okay, so we, we're checking off the first box, which is feel the chi. Now we're going to lessen more. So a real fast way to do this. We did it last week, but we're gonna do it again. Fast way to feel, to crank up the chi. Point your index fingers, set your elbows, reach with that, and then very slowly rotate your forearms. Breathe. Feel into your hands as you turn. Palms forward. Take a deep breath and spread your fingers, opening the hands. Exhale and relax. Slowly rotate back. Feel the hands, feel your arms, feel your feet, feel your head. Do that again, feel the fingers, reach with your index fingers and rotate. Breath, spread the fingers, open the, open the hands. And exhale, relax. And slowly turn the hands back. And feel into your hands, feel into your feet. And notice that now we have more chi. Feel the pulsing heat, tingling fullness in your hands and your feet. And you may feel it elsewhere in your body as well. Maybe in a subtler way, but it's there. And now we're gonna to go to yin and yang. Sink, gather, Carry the chi. Be 
feel the heaviness of your arms. Come up, rotate your forearms, reach with your elbows, reach out. Feel that expansion. Feel the yawn. It's big, it's expansive, it's electrical, it's sparkly. It's hot. Slowly bring your hands in, reach with your elbows, reach with your hands, gathering, 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 condensing, contracting, sink, down. This is yin, it's where we are contracting into form. This is earth. This is first chakra stuff. Hands come up, open. Breathe. Rotate. Feel the expansion. Feel the yang chi of the heavens illuminating, opening, radiating, filling. Let's come in. Feel the yin. Make friends with the yin. Love the yin. Your yin loves you. Come down. And in this day, it's neither yin nor yang. This precedes that. Okay, now we're going to go to metal. Pivot on your right heel. Sink into that. Step in. Bring your hands, your left hand up. You're stepping in with your left foot. You bring your left hand up. Right hand up. Step forward with your left foot. So the heels line up, right? You got the, the heels are lined up to a very narrow stance. And you reach forward, both palms face out. Now you feel the ball of your right foot, set your right knee, sink into your right claw and draw your hands in. So your weight is about 60% in your right foot. Your left hand, notice it's right in front of my nose. The right hand, the thumb is pointing toward the navel. Notice the roundness of my arm, reaching with the elbows. 
and sink. Feel the tensegrity of the, of the structure. Feel everything's knitted together. Feel the metal chi. Metal chi is very dense and connected. There is a central pillar. It's extending from that, reaching out, reaching, feeling sinking down, opening. So metal energy is going from yang to yin. So that's why it's in fall. It governs the lungs and it is going from the fiery energy of summer, very young to yin of winter of water. So everything's connected. Metal chi is very abrupt. It picks a spot, boom, boom, and that's it. And it's connected, but there's, you're not reaching out with your shoulder, you're reaching out with your foot. You're feeling a connection between your hand and your, and your foot, particularly your, your back foot, although both are involved, okay? Think into your left leg, reach out, step back, turn out on your left foot, pick up your right foot and step forward, hands come up, reach out, and sink into your, your uh, left foot about 60%. Reaching out with your right hand. Feel the connection throughout. Feel your, your central equilibrium, your pillar. Feel the tensegrity of the structure. Feel the sinking, the condensing energy. We're going from the expansiveness into dense, contracted, condensed energy. Think and pull back. Take a deep breath. And disappear the chi. Throw that away. This creates a vacuum, allows the nature chi to amplify, moving through you. Allow yourself to dissolve into the neutrality, into the wu chi. Okay, now we're gonna to go to wood. Sink, step out. Spiral down to so give your left leg spiral down to the right. Gather. Both hands turn into fists. So we're going to use a Xin Yi Bong Tran to explore wood energy. So step forward with your right foot. You want the heels to line up again. And you reach out with your right hand, pull back with your left. So 
feel into this posture. Again, feel the connection here. Actually, I have, I have a little something that uh, may help get, get the feeling of this. If you find a wall or something like that, I'm gonna use a door here. And if I reach out with my fist and make contact, if I use my shoulder muscles and my arm to push, I'm going to feel tension in my shoulders, right? And that's, that, that's a way we conventionally would punch. But if you wanna feel the ball of, the, of the, the left foot, the back foot, and reach out and set your elbow and then reach out with the fist and relax the shoulder so that you feel the the energy going all the way through and into the foot. So there's no connection, there's no uh, disruption there. There's no uh, uh, tension in the shoulder. You're just reaching out, you're feeling the pressure and then you can increase the pressure and sink more and more into the foot as you do that. So you're taking the, the, the force into the into the foot. So there's this expansion outward. So wood energy is like, like a battering ram, right? It's, it's, not, it's not this kind of punch. It's, it's, a, it's like, a, like a battering ram. It's like, boom, it's straight ahead and it's, it's directed. It's coming from the yin to the yang. So the wood energy is, uh, this is the energy of springtime and it's going from the yin of, of winter into the yang of summer. So it's going from yin to yang. So we're here and we reach out with the, with the right hand. So we have the, put your right foot forward right now and you're, you're reaching out, pulling back like you're pulling back on a bowstring and just as you reach forward and feel that connection from your fist down through your foot, still reaching with the crown of your head. And feel that expansion. So now you're going to pull back the bowstring with your right hand and reach forward with your left hand. Pull back with the left hand, reach forward with the right. Now get a little something a little little subtle here. That's that straight ahead. So now as you, with your right hand, just bend at the wrist so that the fist points upward slightly. So the, the wrist is like that and then just go like this. So, the, so, the, so that the, the bottom two knuckles would be what you would be making contact with. So just feel into that. Now bend the wrist the other way so that the hand points down and feel the difference in the energy there. Now bring the, end, the hand, knuckles point up, wrist bends so the finger, hand points up. So that's a young expression of Bong Tran. Reach down. And that would be a yin expression. Reach forward, pull back with your right hand, reach forward with your left and reach up with the fist. Reach down. Reach up.
Reach down. Step back. Step forward with your left foot. Reach out with your right hand. Pull back with your left. Reach up. Reach down. Reach up. Reach down. Pull back with the right hand, reach forward with the left. Feel that connection from the foot through to the fist and reach up. Reach down. Reach up. Reach down. Pull back with your left and this time reaching forward with the right hand, reaching up. Pull back with the right hand, reaching up with the left hand. Reach forward and reach down with the right hand. Pull back and reach down with the left hand. Reach forward and just straight ahead. Neutral. Pull back, straight ahead with the left. Step in. Deep breath. And disappear the chi. And dissolve into the emptiness. Okay, grab a seat. We got a minute, minute for a couple of things, a couple of questions or comments. How'd we do? Good, 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 good. Scott. Um, felt the wood chi, but not as, uh, didn't get it as quickly as I got the metal chi. But, okay. But it was, it was good. I, you know, definitely. Did, did, did me punching the door have, uh, did that help at all? Yes, good, good. So that, that's, you want to feel the difference there between just a, you know, kind of a jab or, you know, bong tran, which is a whole body pile driver. It's very powerful. Anybody else? Stan. You're on mute, Stan. There it is. Okay. Uh the uh, fist facing up and down. What are you, what is actually happening? You mentioned that up is yang and uh, down is yin. But wh why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? Yes, because uh, it was pointed out a long time ago that uh, when you strike, it's always with the uh, the two big knuckles. Uh, uh, you don't uh, hit with the lower knuckles. So I am curious as to what what is happening. Put it out by whom? Oh, this is a long time ago when they were teaching us how to punch and all that. It, it was not Tai Chi. Uh, I, I, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, Goju Karate. And and when you're doing Goju Karate, do it that way. Okay, but what are, what are we doing when we're? Uh, uh, the, 
It's just up and down. Different energies. Different energies. Okay. Then uh, uh, do we ask now uh, what uh, what's the what would be the result of these uh, two different energies? Or yeah, how can you mess somebody up with them? Uh, just theoretical knowledge at this point, of course. Different energies, as like I said before, like familiarization with the different energies. Ah. Yin and yang, more and less, five elements, heaven and earth, you know, knowing each of these things is your fundamental vocabulary. Okay. All how, right. we fuck, how we fuck someone up with it, that, that's another class. I know. I'm we, not a, for one we, thing, I'm not. We want, we want, we want to, we want to just get the energies first. Okay. 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 And then you can, uh, so it, it, it's not about, you know, punching through boards or anything with, with this, you know, the, you mm -hmm. know, uh, this is about, about energy. So you don't need, you don't need a lot of force mm. to generate power. In this. Uh -huh. Valerie. Thank you. Um, when I stepped up to the wall with the fist, yeah, it felt as if I could, and that's a, it's a substantial wall, it's you know, fireplace. it's a fireplace. It ain't going nowhere. I felt like I could go right through it. <laughs> so that was, that's, that was, that's, that's Wong that. Chuan. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's wood chi. Yes, you got it. <laughs> you felt it. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm. Can I ask Good. a question? Please. Uh, or maybe it's not a question. Um, but when we're standing in Wuji. Yes. And you know, pointing the index fingers, the tiger's mouth, it's like I took a magic marker out of yellow and just it's highlighted. It's just so strong in both mm. hands. Just a comment. Uh, excellent. It sounds like you you are tuned into the chi. <laughs> Keep, keep it going <laughs> keep it going so these are these are little explorations that we're that we're taking together and I'm trying to keep it really really simple so that you know it's not there's not a lot of uh, a lot of detail that is going to confuse you from the direct experience of the energy mm -hmm. that is what that's what the, the this segment of our little exploration is focusing on Okay, very good. Anybody else? Lynn. When we were doing um, <clears throat> the beach one, the metal energy, um, or uh, did, when we started before we, when we were contracting and expanding, that's what it was, yeah. right? Um, when we contracted, it was so um, heavy and connected that when you said you know expand again uh, i was like okay hands expand <laughs> and <laughs> i was just not getting anywhere you know like oh okay i guess you know, <laughs> uh oh <laughs> we've gone super no now we're going into a black hole ah! <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> it was a good black hole, though. <laughs> good one. Yeah, make friends with that yin chi, because yeah, a, a lot of people have have a button on contraction, and it's it's your friend. That's what creates form. That's what creates <laughs> form. That's what creates substance. And we want to be able to consciously expand and consciously contract, and love it, love both. Okay. It and be able to so escape good. the black hole too, not, 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 not get stuck in it. But it felt like, you know, like home, like, oh, this is a, this is like a great place to be. That's, that's, that's what we're looking for. That's, that's yin chi, that, 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 oh, oh yeah, it's a big hug. You know, it's, it's that, that, a hug is a contraction, right? It's, it's, it, you're, you're pulling in. So that's the, uh, that's, that's what we're looking for there. We want to be able to do both. Be able to okay. get between the yin and the yang, and that's, and to the extent that we can control that and feel it directly as energy, not just as intellectual concepts, but mm -hmm. as a felt sense of that, then we can move to the next 
move to the next round, you know, in the game. So, uh, uh, cool. Anybody else? These are all great, uh, great questions, comments. Love it. Okay. Thank you all very much. It's been wonderful. Thank you all. Great. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Oh, thank you, thank Maria. you Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye -bye. Have a good night.